Okay, uh, this is how to pull data through on a, with a VLOOKUP onto another spreadsheet from another one. Um, what we have here is, I've got asset class here, as you can see there's a drop down. On the back sheet here, it's pulling that data from here. Um, but I actually want these values so I can do a calculation, but you might use it for something else, maybe You've got Joe Blogs here is a salesman and that's his number of sales. So you can actually do a search um, and it'll pull the data through for you. But the reason I'm using it for something a bit different, I need a, a value because I use those numbers to generate another calculation, but I need them on the other spreadsheet. Um, the reason I put them on here is somebody can follow what I've actually been doing um, so that if they decided to alter it later, they understand what I was actually doing when I generated the formula. Um, now, the first thing you might hear is people saying ar array. Now, an array, as you see here, it says this. I hate this mouse on this laptop, by the way. Uh, it says H3, right? But if I take the top left and hold the left button, you'll see it's changed it to asset class. And it's not taking it from there. It's basically, this is a array. Each one of these is already set up as an array. As you can see. Now, how do you create an array? Let's just make a quick one. Uh, let's just call it sales. John, Dave, Fred, and five sales, three, six, whatever they are, right? All you do is you just grab all of the data, then you just change it to whatever you want. For example, sales. So now if I grab that bit of data and I'll show sales in the corner, okay? So that's how you create an array anyway. But back to what we actually want to do, which is basically I need when somebody selects this from a drop down, it gives me this value. And it, it's simple as that. So if somebody puts in business as usual, I want that number to appear there to say it's one. Um, and then if it's mandatory two, statutory three, as you can see on here, this one's already done. Uh, let's just put two, you see the number automatically updated itself. So you're probably already working out where you could use this formula. So we need a VLOOKUP. So let's start with a VLOOKUP. Let's click on that, speed things up a bit. Now the first thing is, is look at the lookup value. Now basically it will look it's looking for where you start, which is this column here. This is the one where we're saying, this is what we're looking for. This is our query. Um, and now it's gonna ask, where do we get the, the information from? So we'll put a little comma in here and it's gonna ask for the table array. Now we already gave it a name, which as you know was, oh, what was it called? Asset class. So as you can see, they're showing up in the bottom here because it knows what I named everything. So it, it knows that that is that little array. Now, when it does a lookup for BAU, one BAU, it always takes that from the left-hand side menu. The reason that's important is that column is also the one you're gonna use for a VLOOKUP. So be aware of that. Um, and the next thing is when you look at the drop downs, oh, hang on, they won't let me do this. Hang on, start again. Just add this in. Uh, what did we call it? Uh, asset class. Okay, yeah. Oh, dear. Asset class. Okay, add a little column. Um, index number, I'll show you this. Now, bear in mind, it always sees this one as the first column. So that's one, that's two. So we want these numbers, which is in column two. Ignore the numbers at the side, ignore the letters on the top. It is just this bit here, this array. So it's in column two. So we know we just want to put a two in there now. Ignore that sheet one, because it's because I click things. Put two and 
add the color, color, a uh, little comma there to move it on to the next thing. Now, the next thing you can see here is the matches because uh, you can have somewhere near or you can have it an exact match. We only want an exact match. We don't want anything there if it's not exact. So we put false. And if I press enter now, you will see business as usual equals one. Two, you know, mandatory equals two, statutory equals three. And that's simply it. It um, can be quite a useful tool. Uh, in this case, I'm using it for quite a complicated formula, but I just need these numbers output with, with whatever data is, comes in these different columns when people make a decision on the equipment we're looking at, uh, whether it's critical or statutory, critical, mandatory, etc., etc., because each one of these numbers has a value which forms part of a new equation. Anyway. Thanks for watching, hope you find it useful.